Hey there, and welcome to my review of the Blendtec ES3 blender. I got good news and bad news. There's a bunch of things I like and a couple of things that I don't like. I'll go ahead and start with the things that I don't like. First of all, the price. It's a little prohibitive. The cheapest Blendtec you're probably gonna find is like 400 bucks. The other thing I didn't like about this blender at first was that it seems intimidating. It's kind of complicated, like what did all these buttons do and stuff? I had to read the manual and be like, Wah. but once I figured it out, I couldn't believe how great it was. All right, so here's all the things I love about this blender. Auto modes. It's got these wonderful pre-programmed blend modes in here where you just hit one button and it starts and stops by itself, which ensures consistent blending results. The other thing it does is the motor speeds up and then slows down to let all the food settle and then it speeds up again. That was a little confusing at first, but the auto modes are awesome. Number two is it's got a very powerful motor. You know, you put anything you want in there and it'll blend it. The third thing I like about this blender is that it's super easy to clean. There's no dissembling of blades and washers and rubber parts and stuff. It's just jar lid. The fourth thing I like about this blender is the patented wingtip two-prong stainless steel blade design. One thing that's really weird about it is it's not even sharp to the touch. Like you could touch it all day long and you won't cut yourself, which makes it easy to clean, of course. Some miracle of engineering the way they built this thing, the way that the blades are angled makes it just crush and power through anything that you would want to blend in here really effectively. The fifth thing I love about this blender is the jar. It's square. It's made of super durable, resilient, uh, BPA-free plastic, and the square jar creates a better vortex than a circular jar, which is what most blenders have. So that's my review of the Blendtec ES3. If you agree or disagree, feel free to weigh in in the comments below, and thanks for watching. Also, I'm going to be writing a kale smoothie ebook pretty soon, and I was curious about what some of your things you would like to see in the kale smoothie ebook would be. I've got some ideas, but I just want to make sure I use all the cool ideas I can find. All right, so that's it for my review of the Blendtec ES3. I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. Take it easy.